आज है आज में कुछ बात है मेहनत के इस दरिया में Greetings to all. Namaste. I was indeed very happy to deliver the keynote address at the Amazon's uh, Sambhav 2021 Mega Summit last year if all of you can recall which had put forth how SMBs can leverage digitalization and technology to drive infinite possibilities for entrepreneurs getting aligned with a digital India. I think in continuity to that as a sequel to that the relevance of this ambition has only grown and grown many fold over the last one year today ladies and gentlemen i am pleased to deepen our partnership with amazon on this mission of creating opportunities for our citizens through the amazon sambhav entrepreneurship challenge 2022 i owe to congratulate amazon for graduating its relationship with the Ministry of Science and Technology through their recent partnership with the NIF Incubation and Entrepreneurship Council and the National Innovation Foundation through this challenge program. You would appreciate that when a technology-driven corporation like Amazon with a lasting interest in our country comes closer to the concerned ministries like the ours, which are mandated to promote science and technology activities in the country, formulate related policies and improve the ecosystem every hour. The opportunities that citizens get are by nature productive and have a greater probability of translating into desired level of success. Amazon Sambhav Entrepreneurship Challenge 2022, I am told, will aim to scout eligible entities in large numbers from deepest pockets of the country, identify startups that are raising the bar of innovation in India and setting new benchmarks in their respective sectors, recognize them and reward them with fresh opportunities which will pay way for the defining of their success trajectory in 2022 and beyond. The challenge is open to all startup enterprises incorporated in India and the winners will receive equity, free grants, rewards, market access, global exposure curated mentoring program and an opportunity to showcase their brands to customers, venture capitalists and mentors. I'm sure such an end-to-end -end incubation offering will be music to the ears of every budding and ambitious entrepreneur of this country. It could be a new trend going forward in the terms of incentivizing innovation. I'm confident that initiatives under this kind of a purposeful partnership will create possibilities for us to digitize MSMEs and also attract innovations from the farthest reaches of the country, particularly from the citizens who are at the bottom of the pyramid and awaiting a breakthrough in their entrepreneurial journeys which merit our attention. The focus on empowering startups is in line with the Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi's clarion call to build India's startup ecosystem and help create an Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Earlier this year, you will recall the Honorable Prime Minister Modi had announced an annual celebration of January 16 as the National Startup Day. And I envision expeditiously executing initiatives like these to make such announcements more and more goal-oriented, measurable and meaningful. Indian startups and innovations are winning global claim as you would see around you and we need to make them more competitive so as to prepare them for global benchmarks, the global markers and also to inspire them to grow, learn and excel. I assure you that the Ministry of Science and Technology has been actively working to ensure this. The grassroots innovators are mentored and provided with requisite support through this ministry to commercialize their ideas. The NIF in a variety of ways including the Manak 
program of this ministry under the aegis of DST reaches out to students across the country to help build entrepreneurship skills at early stages of their lives. An opportunity which was not available to the previous generations including my generation but is being successfully done today. And the NI literacy which has incorporated with the support of National Science and Technology Entrepreneurship Development Board NSTEDB under DST further advances this mission. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to witness and announce my ministry's partnership with Amazon on this challenge to identify talented entrepreneurs across the country and mentor them to reach their fullest potential. Through this partnership with NIF, the Sambhav Entrepreneurship Challenge will also reach the founders in the Tier 2, public Tier 3 cities, small towns and rural areas to recognize such entrepreneurial potential in these relatively underrepresented regions. I'm sure that this initiative will succeed in its mission to identify entrepreneurship in every corner of the country, bring them to the fore and celebrate India's march towards an inclusive, innovation-driven society. I finally urge all startups across India to help to the Sambhav Entrepreneurship Challenge. My best wishes once again to Amazon on announcing this challenge and generalizing the sources with a sense of responsibility and a purpose in developing the country's MSMEs, small businesses, startups and other innovations. The Sambhav Entrepreneurship Challenge 2022 will allow us to collaborate to realize the government's goals for a self-reliant on an Atmanirbhar India. I therefore commend Amazon for the efforts to ensure that India's small businesses are able to reap the benefits of digitization. In this connection, I will have no doubt that it will be a huge boost to make in India producers and make India truly self-reliant in every respect. I also therefore extend my congratulations to the participants and wish them all the best. It is in their endeavors and last but not the least, we might still be the third largest startup ecosystem in the world. Please note third largest startup ecosystem in the world. But ours is an ecosystem where grassroots innovators have equal opportunities too and are making their response felt and are also attracting support and encouragement from the benchmarks of technology powerhouses of the world. I once again wish the initiative all the very best and I'm sure we will move on from one level to the other progressively to newer heights of accomplishment. Thank you, thank you. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen.